Now, one of the big problems to creating a radical normal map in ZBrush is you're sometimes going to get unexpected results, especially when you're not using a full head of hair. But that's the normal map that causes that, the one we generated in ZBrush, not iClone. And it's not going to be a problem to control. We just want to make sure we have it selected, and then we're going to open it up in our image editor. Now, in order to know which one it is, we're also going to open up the UV reference. We don't need all of these. So we'll just shut off the ones that we need, the ones that we don't need, sorry. Now this is the one to the head. Select all, control C to copy, control V to paste, and then I'm just going to stretch it up over. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get an idea of where these creases are. Now also, I'm going to lower the opacity. So we can see through it, but still get to see our reference. Also, if anytime you're worried about working on an original, just make you a copy then and work on it. But you can always go back to iClone and get another copy. Now we can see right here, this ridge right here is what causes that ridge on the back of the head. This is the way the texture wraps around. If you can't envision it now, you'll be able to one day. Also, a little bit of it catches what looks like might be the tongue or some, some kind of mesh. Then we've got these lines right here in the face. So... What we're going to do, I'm not going to uh, fix all of them. I'm just going to fix one of them. And, but that's the way you would fix them all. So what we're going to do is use the clone tool. And I'm going to hold down Alt and get a reference down here in the clean material. And I'm going to come up here where this radical line is. And I'm going to take that dark line out. Now you may have to come back and grab some fresh clean material. But you're going to want to do that. Come over here on this side. And do the same thing to this line. Try not to take out too much. Just the dark line, really, because you are taking out other wrinkles. But you want to take those out. Go ahead and take these out. And then also there's these ones down here on the face. You can take them out. Things like that. Just go ahead and work on it till you get it down. And once you get your map fixed like you want, We can load her in, but yeah, I said we could. Let me get it corrected. There we go. We can load in our map, and now you'll notice all that's gone, but we still have everything that we want up here. So when we use our slider, we don't lose everything, and we still can, can use that to make it higher we want it to look. So that's how you'd solve that little problem.